It's been 28 years since Hurricane Marilyn devastated the U.S. Virgin Islands. This week, Shay McAllister and editor Trey Muntz dive into the vault to show you how the Kentucky National Guard was able to lend a helping hand. It was 1995. Hurricane Marilyn struck down on the Virgin Islands, specifically St. Thomas Island. After the 14-hour storm, the island was completely ravaged. Most resources, including electricity, water, and phone service, cut off. I think it's more a situation where there's a lot of disruption, a lot of destruction. The infrastructure there, there has not able to provide adequate health care. I do know their hospital has been severely damaged. Uh, matter of fact, it's about only half operational. The hotel's ready on one. To help the victims of the hurricane, the Kentucky Air National Guard sent a medical disaster team, along with hundreds of pounds of supplies. When the team arrived, they saw firsthand just how bad the devastation was. Houses were reduced to rubble, cars flipped on their side, the hospital barely functioning. And on top of the physical damage, the island's people were suffering from another kind of disaster illness. There is a degree of illness. Uh, they have a lot of sanitation problems, bad water, bad food, and that's the type of sickness and things that we've had to deal with. It's just mass destruction. There's not a building that I have not seen unturned or un unharmed. Either there's broken glass is the, you know, the worst is the uh, least case scenario, and then we get the worst case scenario where it's just completely leveled. Once the disaster team was settled, the Air Guard made a mandatory stop in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The original plan was to head home the next day, but they were called for one final request. Their aircraft, the C-130, was the only plane that could carry the two 9,000-pound air conditioning units back to the St. Thomas Airport. This additional trip may have added some extra miles on the crew's overall mission, but all of them knew they had to do it. This is the main reason I do this job right here, uh, going out and helping people that need help. After four days and 25 hours of flying, the Kentucky Air National Guard was back home. St. Thomas now had the people and resources needed to recover from monster hurricane Maryland.